Today, I want to talk about tomatoes. Grow the right tomatoes and you'll grow tomatoes forever. And you'll be happy. You want to be happy, don't you? Or at least pleased. We're getting close to growing tomatoes. We're all going to start planting tomatoes. Everybody grows tomatoes. Tomatoes, how to grow tomatoes. You'll see a thousand plus videos on there. But I want to tell you, I want you to grow the right tomato. Because you can grow a tomato, and once you grow a tomato, you may never want to grow another tomato again. Understand tomatoes. Understand which tomato you want to grow. Now let's talk about today, we could talk about all the varieties, and there are so many varieties. I don't know what variety this is. This beautiful tomato is something that came up in my garden, hybridized with all the other tomatoes over the past few years, and it ended up with that. But basically, it's a cherry tomato. It's just a little bit bigger than some of the small ones. Now, you can get cherry tomatoes really tiny, and of course, you can get the big tomatoes. I went to the store today, and I saw that the biggest tomatoes they're selling, the plants that they're selling, are Big Boy, Beef Steak, Early Girls, not as big, but they're selling all the tomatoes that get to be so big. That's wonderful. You want to slice them up and put them on a hamburger? Of course. But here's the thing. There were 63 tomatoes on this yesterday. We picked some. And they continue to grow more tomatoes. You'll see the flowers. It keeps going. And we're in winter. We haven't hit spring yet. Not for another three or four weeks. But the point is, I'm constantly getting tomatoes when I get a tomato this size. Now, when you have a tomato plant, let's say you want to do a beefsteak. You feed it. You've got to feed it. They're heavy feeders. And you take care of that tomato plant. And yes, in about 60 days to 90 days, you're going to get some really big tomatoes. But your plant's going to have, it depends on how you take care of it and how the soil is and everything. You could get three tomatoes. You could get maybe eight tomatoes. Let's say you have a variety that's going to get really big tomatoes, one to one and a half pounds. So you're going to end up with three big tomatoes. Can you imagine the anticipation of watching that little green thing grow and get bigger and bigger and you're waiting and you're waiting and you know that this week it's going to be ready to pick. You can't wait. You've got the hamburgers waiting. You're going to throw them on the grill. You're going to slice up your tomato. You go out the next day and it's gone. A rat grabbed it and took it. A coyote pulled it off. A bird knocked it to the ground and it got smashed. Well, you got a couple more. No wait for the next ones. The point is, the big tomatoes only throw a few tomatoes. Think of a watermelon plant. You grow the little sugar baby watermelon, you get one or two baby watermelons on a plant. Well, when you get tomatoes that are bigger, you're going to have less tomatoes. When you have a small, this is one plant. When you have a small type variety of tomato, you can get hundreds and hundreds. And this has gone all through the year into winter and we will be into spring and it's going to keep growing. If you want a can, you'll want a variety that is the determinant, where they all ripen at the same time. I canned once. That was it. But if you want a can, it's fantastic. I'm not putting anybody down. Some people get the whole family together, so everybody can can. That's fantastic. Do you want to just maybe make salsa out of it or sauce? That's great too. Do that. But the point is, when you get a variety, a small variety, you're going to constantly be getting tomatoes. There is nothing wrong with taking this tomato and slicing it up, not just for a salad or for sauce if you want to cook it, or salsa. You can slice it up and put it in a sandwich. So you've got a whole bunch of slices you layer out. Think of pickles. They slice up pickles and lay it out. But not only that, you're going to have a ton. You come out and one of your tomatoes is gone no big deal. You won't even notice if something takes a few of the tomatoes. I want you to understand what you're getting into when you start to buy tomato plants. And the big boys and the beef steaks are big tomatoes. I want to see people who are just getting in tomatoes to get a variety that they're going to be so happy with that the kids are going to be able to go out there and pick them, that everybody's going to get a tomato. And you have all the tom tomatoes you want constantly. I want you to understand that. The other thing is, you know what you do with this? You end up planting a few of those. Now, this is only one here, but what if I had three or four of these plants? A lot of them fall to the ground, disappear. You take them off, you wash the tomato, you dry it, 
and you pop them in plastic bags and you throw them in the freezer. I have tomatoes in the freezer this size in a plastic bag. You can fill up a big bag. There's no work. It's washing, drying, and throwing them in a plastic bag. Put them in a colander, wait till they dry the next day, throw them in the freezer. I have found this size to be one of the best sizes to grow. There's no anticipation of when the tomato is going to be ready. They're constantly ready. I got more tomatoes than I need. We keep picking them here. My granddaughter comes over here and just picks a whole bunch. I pick a whole bunch. Gary walks by and eats them all the time. And the more you pick, the more they grow. With the big tomatoes, you can't pick them early unless you're going to do green fried tomatoes or you want to maybe pickle them. You can pickle green tomatoes. But the point is, the bigger the tomato, the less fruit you're going to have. And the more you'll be disappointed if you lose some. I wouldn't know if I lost any on this. Would you? So think about it as you're getting ready. Now, of course, you could get the big boy or the beef steak and you can plant that along with other tomatoes. That would be wonderful. Grow a bunch of different types. But just as a backup to make sure you're going to have that tomato when you want it, how about getting one of the cherry uh, type tomatoes? You can get the real little ones, but those are really tiny, perfect for salad, but they're super tiny. Or you can get something like a good cherry tomato and you're not going to have any disappointment when you have these growing alongside of your beef steak. And as you wait for those and wait for those, you're going to be popping cherry tomatoes all you want. Mmm. Mmm. I should have done that afterwards. So give it a thought as you're buying your tomato plants or growing your seeds. Sorry. Because I have found this the best variety for many reasons as far as freezing them. And they last a long time. This is an indeterminate. This will continue to grow. The difference between determinate is determinate grows to a height, throws a whole bunch of fruit at the same time so you can pick them all and can them or do what you want with them. An indeterminate continues to grow. And I do not prune my tomatoes unless they're growing in my way. Because as you prune them, you'll be pruning off a lot of places where your tomatoes are growing. So you want to leave something like this alone, train it up, so you get as many tomatoes as possible. And I'm telling you, you're going to be so happy with your tomatoes. With that, give it some thought. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. I already did. Oh, boy, are these good. Bye-bye. I don't know why anybody would grow big tomatoes. I grew them last year, and most of them disappeared.